okay everyone and welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to get straight into this one, I'm not going to mess around with the whole introduction etc. We've come here to have a look at improving your footage so I'm just going to get on with this really fast so you can do this for all your videos or take something from it if you will. Um, right, so um, I've got a clip here, now this is one of, my, one of my more recent videos, I had quite a few comments on how nice this sort of scene look now this is just raw from the drone and it's not actually too bad but um the colors do look a little bit flat the sky has got a nice color but i like to just give everything a good boost so all you've got to do is make sure you've got your effects effects tab open and we go over here to color correction if you're not going to do anything in your um in your drone footage or any other video that you're producing um, this is the first thing that I do um, after I've cut all my scenes. So drag this over to your clip and then come up here to the top right and we want to click the little arrow. Click the little arrow. And we first of all, I always do exposure first. Now what I like to do is I've learned that uh, trying not to mess too much with your highlights and your shadows but your midtones are probably one of the most important things. Now I drop that down quite a lot. And even just doing purely that makes a really, really nice effect. But just to give it a bit more of a boost, what you can do is this, it's still not overexposed. So let's go a bit brighter, make it nice and rich. And if you really want, if you want like more dramatic contrast, then you can just drop down that shadows ever so lightly. And straight away, if I go back just on doing that, if I untick in that, look at that, look at that difference. It's so much more cinematic. It looks brilliant. It's popping out everything that's there i've not messed with the colors i've just done the exposure settings and already you could just you could do it like that it, it looks really really nice but let's just go one more step further now saturation with a clip like this as you can see there's quite a lot of nice color now i it, when i actually produced this i don't think i really affected this much but instead of using your different highlights midtones and shadows just use the global one that's what I do and I mean if I was to increase you can see how insane that color goes it just looks ridiculously fake um, if anything like I said this looks good as it is but maybe just a tiny boost that's it a tiny tiny boost now color uh, general rule of thumb that I've come across is for your midtones again like the exposure is probably one of the more important ones is you want to drop that down ever so slightly just to give a warmer look. Again, don't have to do this, you could keep it the exposure, but some scenes, it is nice just to add that tiny bit. Now, if I was to go all the way down, you can see it gets orange, but if I was to go up, it'll go blue. Now, for your mid-tones, generally, if that's like people's faces or this nice kind of scenery, then it's more pleasing to have it just a little bit warmer. That's a tiny, tiny touch. Now, um, the uh, highlights, now you want a little bit of blue in there. So instead of going down, which as you can see, it makes it all very yellow. Now you might want to go for a certain look, but generally this is my rule of thumb that I do with most of my scenes, is I'll increase that just a little bit. Now what that's done is you can see in the sky and the, um, and the water in the canal here, it's just added that nice kind of, it's enhanced that pinky purple glow that was already there in the sky. And it's just added that bit more to it. And I think it looks really, really nice. And you can see I've not really affected that that much. I mean, some people might think that's too much. You can mess around with this as you wish. But overall, do you know what? That's it. I think as it stands there, I think that is brilliant. Again, if I untick this, you'll see the drastic difference there. Now, as I said at the beginning, you know, naturally that actually looked quite good. But you don't realise. Um, oh, and by the way, I'm filming this in D-log mode as well. Should have mentioned that at the beginning, but there you go, you know now it's D-log mode uh, on my DJI Phantom 3 standard. But just doing that, I mean, just look at that difference. It looks so, so good. It looks so nice, a bit more cinematic. Um, as I said, if this is all you want to do to improve it, I think that's perfectly fine. I think straight away, just using this color correction makes a big, big difference to your footage. Now, if you wanted to go one step further, um, you can get um, a look. So from this, you can go to something like this. That's much more cinematic. Now, I won't go into that, but if you do want to watch the video on how I make this go from this look to this look, or I should say from, <clears throat> from this look to this look, 
then uh, come up here to the top right hand corner I will put a little card that will pop up and you can go to that link and watch that video or go into the description and I'll pop a link in there. Thanks everyone for watching as always, see you again soon, bye.